Close friends of the 23-year-old woman killed in a Christmas homicide tell 13 investigates that she had a lot left to accomplish. New at 4 now, Tessa Bentulin found out we featured this victim in our top teacher segment five years ago. Tessa is here now with the latest 13 investigates report. Tessa. Hi, Mark and Sabrina. This is Sky Lemons Dixon in high school, ready to learn and loved what school had to offer for her. Some of her friends spoke to me today and say Lemons Dixon deserved better than a terrible death. In 2018, Sky Lemons Dixon shared these powerful words with us while she was a student at the Charlton School in Burnt Hills, a school for troubled teenage girls. It's never a wrong thing to say what you believe in. And that's always the thing that I will carry on after leaving here. The story was for a new Channel 13 Top Teacher segment. Levins Dixon speaking about what she learned from her social studies teacher, Miss Tracy Allen, about female empowerment and using your voice. Sitting right next to Levins Dixon in that class was one of her best friends, Ariella Mendez. She had the biggest heart and it didn't matter like what was going on in her life at the time. She always made sure to make her friends know how much she cared about them and loved them. Levens Dixon died after she spent days at Albany Med. Police say she was shot in the head on Christmas morning in Albany. 13 investigates learned the shooting happened a week after her abusive ex-boyfriend Houston Ketter was sentenced to 50 years to life for setting a woman on fire and burning Lemons Dixon with a hot pot. Lemons Dixon was supposed to testify at Ketter's trial, but vanished, even telling a crime victim advocate her life would be in danger if she showed up to court. She FaceTimed me a few times to tell me about him, um, and every time she would like talk about him, it was just worse than the last thing. She was just scared of him, like so scared. He would like come in the apartment and she'd be on the phone and she would just hide it or throw her phone across the room so he didn't know. Mendez says she did not find out about the Christmas shooting or Lemons Dixon's death until Wednesday, but she says she will remember her friend from better times. Literally the most beautiful person like inside and out. <laughs> And she just had so much, like, she had so much life left to live and so many things to accomplish. The Charlton School did send us a statement that says in part, quote, she was a leader on campus among her peers. Her family was actively involved in our campus life throughout her time with us and had a wonderful time celebrating her accomplishments at graduation in 2019. Our thoughts are with Sky's family during this difficult time. And coming up live at five o'clock, you'll hear from more of Sky's friends and they tell me what she was really, really passionate about. Mark, Sabrina and Paul.